Hi, Big Jim. I'm uh, Lucio Marie. I'm uh, <clears throat> working on my mahogany uh, pa uh, pan paneling, actually mahogany strips, and I'm going to be cutting them on my table saw. Now, the um, cutting these uh, strips can be a little dangerous because of the um, what you have to do to get the thin strips. When you're cutting thin strips, uh, you're binding the wood against the uh, table saw uh, against the fence typically so that you're trying to cut it you know, the other way obviously is to cut it and then keep moving the fence uh, so you're opening cutting the open end the problem is it's really hard to keep uh, a constant thickness uh, of the pieces so when you're cutting it and you want to use the fence as it's, as the guide <clears throat> then you've got to be careful of the kickback because once you get to the end of the piece and the wood is now free to, to jump it can actually jump back and hit you and it hit me one time in the eye um, so you got to be real careful when you're working with a, a long piece of wood and a table saw against a, a tight fence so I'm gonna try it to do it this time um, I've done it many times in the past I did my uh, uh, my various uh, uh, molding for the inside of the cabin using this method and uh, so it's just something you have to be careful about, but be aware that when you're cutting a thin uh, piece of wood, you want to have consistent thicknesses. Uh, you're going to be using the fence. And so here we have the fence. Now, this is a piece I just cut uh, a little while ago, so it's a little wider, but I'm going to be uh, moving the fence really tight, uh, about half an inch from the um, uh, blade. And I'll be cutting uh, pieces off of that. And as, as I cut the, um, the source piece, my material, here will get thinner and thinner. Obviously, it'll keep getting thinner as I cut more pieces off it until I have uh, around <laughs> an inch or so left. And then the decision is, uh, do you cut that down until you get nothing? And you're cutting, you know, basically a board in half. That's a, basically an inch wide. And you're cutting half inch off each end. So we'll see what happens and how it goes. Uh, wish me luck.